It ain't the three little piggies. Got your sea legs? Oh, th get us out of here! Hungry! I'm the leader. No, you're not. <laughs> I'm the oldest. Yes, I am. I'm the oldest, and I say pipe down. <laughs> but I'm hungry. It's your lucky day, then, ain't it? <gasps> Finally! Gonna want to swallow them down quick. A bone appetite. Any good? It's alive! It's worms! Um, excuse me, sir, the... Is there a vegetarian alternative? <laughs> <laughs> In my day, piggies weren't quite so particular. Don't holler, girl! Give me! Stop it! You said you, you wait, would eat it! You want vegetarian food! <laughs> wait, what are you doing? You'll get us a beating! Belay that, you. I'm called Mr. on this vessel. Life of respect for a lifetime of seafaring. Uh, don't mind him. He's got a real problem with authority. Ha! So do I. I know that these worms are rough fiddles, boys, but they'll grease the pipes till we set you down and run do it. A question, mister. What? Do we have to sit down here in the dark? The flank hands you off to King Zarbon. Is the king nice to his helpers? That's too. I got a sick feeling about this. I'll think of something. No, you won't! <laughs> Boys are sadly slow thinkers. <laughs> I'm a girl. No way. <laughs> we saw a girl once. Headmaster's daughter. She was nothing like you. She was all, argh, argh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Who's in charge here? Who's asking? Molly Astor. Dr. Preterist back home says I have an extraordinarily high level of brain power. If you're so smart, how come you're stuck in this dirt bucket? I'm not stuck. I'm going to meet my father in Rundoon. He has important things to do. <coughs> we have important things to do. No, we don't. <laughs> I'm the leader and I say we got some things. He's not the leader. You. <laughs> you. How old are you? How old are you? I'm 13. I'm 13. Actually, I just remembered today's my birthday, so I'm 15. Well, <laughs> 13 and today's your birthday, you'd be 14. I only celebrate odd numbered birthdays. Wait a minute, wait a minute. It doesn't matter how old you are, the leader has to be a boy. Hey, up our own ship, we get served proper food. I could lead you there, which would make me the leader. Proper food, really? Yeah, just tell me your names. Why should we? Only that if you have names, you get served meat. <gasps> Ted, I'm Ted. But I call him Tubby because he's food obsessed. To pass the time. Hide beans in your blankie. It's a blood sugar thing. Faint at the merest whisper of, get this, sticky pudding. Sticky pudding. <laughs> <laughs> like so I said, good. food obsessed. I'm Prentice. I'm in charge around here. Does it ever occur to you, Ted, the more that you claim leadership, the more it eludes you? Oh, snap. And what are you, boy? Leave me alone. Sorry. Don't mind him. He's rude to everybody. It's why he gets beatings. And why he's got no friends. <laughs> Go on, tell her your name. Why don't you? What's so funny? Thanks, Ted. He doesn't have a name. Been orphaned too long to remember. Grumpkin calls him Mule. You know what, Go on. <laughs> you and your stupid names. Go follow some stupid girl. Like we need your permission, friendless. Does it cost any more to be nice, charmless? <laughs> what about the food? <laughs> okay, you can be like temporary leader, but only till we eat. Fair warning, boy, I will expose you utterly. Right then, follow me. That's what I said, follow Molly. Come on, boy, last chance. We asked us do not leave boys behind. 